Bixby, Oklahoma, police respond to reports of a drunk, abusive husband. Fleeing in his car, he's already blown a tire and crashed through a fence. But nothing is slowing him down. Not even a police car coming the other way. Look out, Stacy. As the suspect speeds off, the officer in pursuit recognizes a potentially deadly situation. He's dragging the chain. At 70 miles per hour, the sparking metal whips around like the tail of a snake. And things are only getting worse. We had a very large chunk of metal come out and go west. The rim gives out. This car is now grinding over pavement on the brake rotor, and it's still picking up speed. Stopping this crazed driver is important, but public safety comes first. See, I'm trying to stay kind of to the left to get these intersection lights to warn these people. The man blows through stop signs and treats red lights like they don't even exist. Amazingly, units get ahead of the chase, stopping cross traffic before someone gets hurt. The suspect's battered car sparks and sputters. But this stubborn senior citizen isn't quitting until he runs out of road or his car dies completely. And that's when this white beating wild man does the unthinkable. He accelerates right into the headlights of oncoming traffic, narrowly missing another vehicle. Moments later, the car finally gives out, rolling to a sparking stop. The suspect gets out with hands up. But the officers have seen how violent he can get. They take no chances. The man tries to act innocent. But the police will let a judge decide his fate. After a tire shredding, dragging, fire-breathing chase like this one, you'd think the suspect would learn his lesson. Incredibly, a year and a half after this pursuit, he was arrested again for DUI and running from the law.